Hi there everybody, it's Housie from Slim and Stylish and I'm a UK Stamping Up independent demonstrator. Thank you for joining me today. Today I have this gorgeous little box and it has a tiny sort of Easter egg in probably about cream egg size. I got these from Morrison's, there were six in an egg carton and they came in really gorgeous colours and I thought you can use those sky blue, pretty and pink and crushed curry so you could use those on a lot of projects and I decided to make this adorable little box to put them in it just chops off the rabbit's ear there but when you open it you can see the ear and it's got another rabbit on the top there so those are using the sets we must celebrate so it's this one here and a good day which is this one I'm pretty sure I do have a stamp that says happy Easter just here so we could always put that on from the You're Inspiring set, but I didn't really want anything on my box today. I just wanted to play with the rabbits. So it is an Easter box, but it could be a spring box or anything like that too. So I'm just gonna show you how to make it. It is really simple. I'm gonna be using the gold one again. I'm going with the same colors because I don't want arguments with my godchildren. <laughs> I really don't. I want the pink one, I want the blue one, and I want this. They're having the same color. So you need a piece of, this is crushed curry, you can have, use any of the colours really, and I have used this one, which was from, it was from the annual catalogue, let me tell you which one it was, playing with my annual catalogue papers, uh, do, 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 do. here it is, whole lot of lovely designer series paper, just there which is a gorgeous set. I was going to use this one here, you can see it, with the flowers, and then use the light blue egg, but one of my godchildren's a girl, so I thought, well, we'll go with the crushed curry. So there we are. You need a piece of paper. This one is six and three quarters of an inch by six and three quarters of an inch. Okay, using your scoring tool. You want to score this at two and a half inches all the way around. They are the same size as a cream egg and those caramel eggs that they now do, they're the same size as those. I did check them in the supermarket before I purchased them. Let's just join that up. So it's two and a half all the way through and I'm just gonna score the lid at the same time. The lid is three and three quarters and you want to score that on the opposite side at an inch all the way around. There you go. Do them both at the same time, saves me getting my scoreboard out again. You need your bone folder for folding your card because you want some sharp lines and with the card being so thick you do need your bone folder. Now this is an unusual one because your flaps are going to be wider than your actual sides so I'll show you what to do. Let me just grab my scissors. You want to do it as a windmill cut again so you want to always cut to this side of the flap. So if we do that first, cut your tab to that side of that flap and then this one so you're always cutting upwards on this square here turn it again okay and then again on this one So that each one folds over, if you see what I mean. Like that. Okay, all you want to do is just turn it over and just see the ends here. You do have probably about half an inch gap, so just eyeball it. I'm going to cut these roughly about there and just cut each flap 
in half. You don't have to be straight with this or precise because this is going inside your box and it's going to be covered. And then all you want to do is just tab the top bit so it doesn't show when you fold it. So how we usually do it like that. And make sure both sides are just tabbed in. I've already done that one. And that one. It's nice making Easter projects today with bright colours because it's snowing outside. So it's cheering me up a bit because we've had bad weather now for ages and it's really starting to get me down. We never have snow. I'm in Birmingham um, in the UK and so it's it's quite citified and we very rarely get snow that actually sticks but this year we seem to have had hundreds of it and it's definitely sticking and it's getting very boring. So you just want to put yourself some fast fuse on each of these as close to the fold as possible. It's in Birmingham, I'm just outside Birmingham. I don't know if anyone come to One Stage Local last time at the Motorcycle Museum. I can see that from my bedroom window, so it was a very handy one for me to have. It's in Telford this time, it's not as handy. <laughs> I like being able to just walk across the road. All right. Just seal your box up. And there you go, your egg should just fit inside it like that. You can, if you wanted, put some shredded paper in the bottom. I was planning to do that, but I'd run out. We have the gorgeous shredded paper that is in the Cakes Array suite. Just at the top up here. And that would look lovely in there, but like I said, I've run out. But the silver one or your white one would just be perfect. Okay, and then just to do the lid, you want to fold this in again. You can do this with your finger, you don't need your bone folder because it's not as heavy weight as the card. And then grab your scissors, you're doing the exact same thing as a fan. So you're cutting into this corner on each side and tabbing it. Again. And again. Okay, just pop some fast fuse on each tab. fold each one into create your lid. There we go. Oh. One of my tabs must not be stuck down properly somewhere. Let's try again. One of the tabs that was on the bottom was just out. So there is the box. To finish it off, all I did was grab some of the crushed curry stitch ribbon, which is this one. I worked out roughly where we wanted it, so it's about there. And then I just run some fast fuse along there so it sat smoothly on the box. Once again, using my fast fuse without my silicon mat because. I'm lazy. Okay, just make sure that's straight at the back and stuck, pull it tight and stick it straight across the sides. And then I just put some fast fuse across the front as well, directly across, to make sure that the ribbon stuck at the front as well so I could get a nice tight bow on it. Okay, 
so once you've done that just create your boat I left the tails quite long on this one on purpose so that it hung around the box because the box is quite narrow so it makes it look a bit better with a long ribbon on it or I thought it did like that and then all you needed to do is grab some scrap wisp white stamp the little bunny Bigger bunny. This one I just punched out using the one and one eighth of an inch scalloped circle. Mm -hmm. And this one I fussy cut out, so we'll do that in a minute. Using the one and three eighths of an inch circle, I've just punched out some crushed curry to stick on there like that. And then I just coloured him in with a stamping pen, so I'll do it really quickly, but just so you get the idea. I used a couple of colours, the dark crumb cake, which is what I'm using now. Didn't colour all the way to the edges, I left it a little bit loose so that when I come over with my light crumb cake, it would bring it in together. There we go. I come over with the bronze one, just to give him some emphasis in certain parts, his cheeks and his ears. And then the light crumb cake, just to I swear people know when I'm filming all the time because they always seem to ring. No one ever rings me except when I start filming and then all of a sudden they will call. Right, there we go. I did a little pink nose for him. And then to tie it up with the top of the lid I just put him a Bermuda Bay bow on. Oh, I've missed a bit. Got my light crumb cake. I'll just come in there and do his tail. He's looking very splodgy. I don't know if you can see. I've properly splodged him. He's a little bit better. He's not as splodgy. I don't like him. I'm going to go over him a bit darker and make him unsplodgy. So it might add a few minutes to my my video. I'm not. I'm not that sorry. I can't have a splodgy bunny rabbit on him. There we go. That's a bit better, less splodgy. Just use the fuse for that. Only because it's out, you can use snail just to stick him on there and then put the dimensional underneath. And stick him on top of the box just there. Then with this one, just fussy cut round him. I am a really lazy fussy cutter, I'll let you know. I am not someone who is perfect at this. And it annoys me. I, I do dislike fussy cutting. I seem to be doing it more and more because the stamp sets I like and would like cut out are not the ones that comes with framelits. I'm very awkward. The ones that are with framelits I never cut out. It's just it's just typical, isn't it? I've got a very awkward nature like that. Around his whiskers. Someone put up the other day on Facebook and I saw it and I wish I knew who it was so I could comment on it. They said, oh, I love doing fussy cutting. It's so, so therapeutic. They can come around my house and fussy cut any time. I'll stamp for them. They can cut and then I'll make my cards. <laughs> I don't find it therapeutic. 
I find it very stressful. I'm always panicking. I'm going to chop part of the animal off. <laughs> Quite a cheerful chappy this one isn't he i think he's cute i love this stamp set really do it's one of my favorites from the occasions catalog i just think it's because they're all so happy they make me smile in fact is it my favorite hmm. it might be my favorite actually it might not be just one of them it might be my actual favorite i think i've used it the most out of all of them Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I'll tell you which one's my favourite stamp set from the uh, Occasions catalogue. Because I love it. I think they made it for me, actually. I'll show you which one it was. It was... There we go. There's his... That's as fussy as his fussy cut is getting. This one's my favourite. Birthday wit. Because I have so many allergies. I've got oral allergy syndrome. And so I love this saying. I think it's hilarious because everywhere I go, I always have to check that it is um, allergy friendly. So I think that that's a very me stamp. And I've used it quite a bit. I don't really know anybody else that I've got really bad allergies. Just, just me. I do like that one. And I even like this one. Nothing says happy birthday like a piece of paper folded in half. Someone put up the other day on one of the demonstrator sites. I can't remember for the life of me who it was as well. I see all these lovely posts and I always forget to notice who puts them up. They did literally just had a piece of our Whisper White folded in half with this put on in black. So simple. So simple. But it looked really effective. Really good. I thought it made a good man card actually because it was quite a simple yet very elegant -y type thing to do. I, I, I really liked it. And there we go. There's my bunny. Bit fast fuse on him. Slide him under there. Push him down. And there you go. And that was using these two samples stamp sets and got some gorgeous boxes with the eggs inside thanks for joining me guys have a lovely easter bye